literally forced one. Holy shit. Perfect timing, bro. Shit. What's that? Shit. 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 Kimmy Khan, come get your juice. <laughs> Sorry. Hello? Hello? Kai is literally um, back in the office. Like, there's like a it, crazy sound. It might be. It went away. It's me. Shit. Oh, yeah, it was your voice. Yeah. It's the crazy sound. Um, no, but Kai is finally back in the office. It's been, what, two yep. months? We haven't seen Kai in two months, which is crazy. But welcome to this episode of Emergency Intercom. You got started off like that, or people oh, are going to be like, what the heck am I, I listening forget, to? I forget. I literally just would have gone. I was just telling him, like, we need to start now because, like, I am, so I'm like functioning below baseline, like typically, like I'm really, really far below baseline when you see me. Mm -hmm. This is me at baseline. Like this is when I feel like a normal fucking person. And with me in bed? Babe, it's like above baseline. <laughs> <laughs> so true, dude. It's crazy how the only way you can connect with the people you love is if you do shrooms. Yeah. Like, why is that? Like, yeah, it it's the only empathy. way to make it work. Like, gain, why did they make it like that? It's to gain empathy. Yeah. Yeah. Because before that, like, there's what is wait, actually, what is that? The word you just said. I haven't done shrooms yet. So oh, like, it's like when you like care, like you, mm. I mean, it like makes me want to gag saying this. But when you like care about other people's feelings, mm. like because my I'm sorry, but your feelings are not my problem. <laughs> Me when my child expresses to me that they're sad, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm literally be like, stop trauma dumping on me. You're like know, you're seriously literally. freaking me out. Like, what are you chronically online or something? So weird. <laughs> <laughs> Telling your child to touch grass. <laughs> you need to go no, outside, like, babe. Dead ass. Like that is the realest shit. Like touch grass. Okay, says the person with Taco Bell stains on his bed. Oh, it says the person that was just touching grass all week. It slept in grass all weekend. <laughs> I can't believe I still haven't been camping. I know. It's... I just like really want to go because I want to poop in the woods. Yeah, that's like a good part. But they've, like, I need, like, if before I die, I need to poop in a dirt hole. Since I've gone, they've like upgraded and there's like a tent around you now and it's like there's toilet paper Ooh. and like plastic bags and you take this shit out Ooh. with you. No, I need like a gust of I mean, wind. No, you can still do that. Like, I definitely was like, I'm not using their fucking toilet. So I just, in the middle of the night, I was still so embarrassed because it was like really, really late. It was like 4 a.m. and I was terrified I was going to get, the whole week. What if you I get like scared. bubbly guts and it's loud as fuck? Well, that's what happened to one of the people that were with us. <gasps> is they were, Did you hear you it? You just go far, far away, like yeah. downwind, like. Dude, imagine yeah. being so embarrassed to like poop near people you're camping with that you go too far off and you get lost and like die in the <laughs> That's woods. That's definitely happened before, but I'm gonna make sure that happens. There too. was like a mountain next to my campsite um, that I hiked up, and I woke up really, really early to hike up it. I mean, and it, when we camp, we like we're not at like a campsite that you reg like that you would think you go to. Like we're in the middle of nowhere, like a hundred miles away from like the nearest person. Like very, very desolate vibes. Like. You don't see anyone. No one sees you the entire time you're out there. It's kind of creepy, but it's also like really cool because you're not interacting with other people at all. And I mean, you're like on your own, like no, no food, no campfire, like none of that. Like it's crazy. But there's a mountain next to us that's definitely hasn't been touched by a human being in like 10,000 years. Like I felt really special. It was really cool. And I hiked up to the top of it and I like put a bunch of sigils everywhere. So in the next 10,000 years, when a person hikes up it, they stumble upon like these really fucking what creepy. What the fuck is a sigil, bitch? <laughs> like it's you, like you just said that like. It's like demon shit. That's like Orion when I was in Portugal with her. She said something. She was like, oh, so-and-so from Wimbledon. And then she kept talking. I was like, wait a second. Where the fuck is Wimbledon? I now know it's like in the UK, but Wimbledon. If someone told me they were Bitch, from if you're from Wimbledon, Wimbledon, you're a fucking freak. You do not exist. Like, is that a Pokemon? Dude, there's probably Wimbledon? no pictures of you because you don't exist and you're not real. And you're going to go to touch your computer that you're watching this on and your hands are going to go through it. <laughs> yeah, it's like that one idea where like every once in a while, like the, never mind. You know what I'm talking you about. You were going to say something like schizophrenic, so then I wouldn't know what you were talking no, about. No, no. It, it's just I, it's like this theory that like your neutrons and electrons and atoms will like align because everything's made up of empty space. That there's a possibility that one in like a quadrillion bajillion chance that you hit the wall and like your hand can go through the wall. Because, Has that ever happened? Or yeah. they just are saying that? It's that's all. Oh, that's what, just what it's they're a, saying. It's an idea. It's possible. But I don't believe that anything. Um, but you were saying um I put a bunch sigils. of sigils and like um effigies and weird shit up at the top of this mountain so when people stumbled upon what is it an effigy? 
Like, like you, you de- keep, demon shit. You're like making shit up, bro. <laughs> no, y'all know. So you put, what, what did they look like? Just like I put sticks in like. You don't have a picture of it? No, I didn't. I, yeah, I got you probably a video. didn't do that. No, I got a video of one that's really. <laughs> no, I did like guys, like I got a video. I got a video of one that's really embarrassing that like after I did it, I was like, this is the corniest shit I've ever done. <laughs> and no one will ever know except for Kai. Kai's the only person that You didn't knows. tell anyone about that? No, it's so cringe. You made the grinder logo out of rocks. Wait, why would you put the the grinder app on there? You don't Jesus use that. Christ. No, that one's for LGBTQ. Q is for QA. <laughs> <laughs> Q is for QA non. No, that's not that's not what it is, but we can add it if you want. Is Q what is Q? Is it questioning? <laughs> I genuinely don't it's know. For queer. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to apply under Q. Um, no, getting since called... I've been banging your mama, I will say I fall under Q. <laughs> I am questioning a lot I of things. I thought you said since I invaded your mama, <laughs> her private. Space. I look, you did invade her hole. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, That's... Sorry, Pam. Say sorry to my mom. Sorry, Pam. Actually, she didn't text me that she listened to the last episode. So she's I think tired of she's you, bro. Bored. Yeah. She's like. She's bored. Oh She's bored of it all. Why are you going to do that? Actually, I should do that to you to silence you from saying all your... You literally f- spread fake news. Like, you use your platform <laughs> to spread fake news. And misinformation. <laughs> no. Literally, you're pulling, like, a Christian to the public. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday, he said two things where, I, like, I had to look them up. And I was like, I feel so bad for being this friend when you say things to me. What I'm did like, I say? What did I say? No, Christian did. Oh, oh, oh. What no, did you say? I... Well, you don't Just say don't look things up based in I real, yeah. in like reality. So I'm not gonna look it up because it's gonna be like, n- no one is saying this because you find all your information through like somebody's TikTok who makes like 18 million a day. <laughs> yeah. And then there's one with yeah. words on the frame, so you're like, oh, and you I click that one. Information and lies, misinformation and lies, or it's information and truths. Yeah, I guess depending on where you live in your peeling back the veil, veil, veal, goat, Drew's goaded. <laughs> that was a reach yeah that one was like kind of insane i am impressed did you just make that up though because yeah. that was it's impressive how well oh, i'm a rapper it. did someone else say that no. you said something that was funny and i texted it to you because you didn't have your phone on you wait oh yeah i've been leaving the house oh they my call me recently. nintendo the way i switch up which is like not a flex that's no, like the worst thing the way they switch up on me <laughs> the... <laughs> no i <laughs> And I said it, and then he was like, did you make that up? And I was like, I think I just made that up. (laughs) Yeah, and I had to look it up, and I was like, oh, my God, congrats. And I made it up. I made up a thing, too. Oh, yeah. It's that I see on both sides, like, Chanel. That's a song. The logo. Oh, like, bisexual? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, you're bi? Wow. Well, no, I'm not, but that's just something I say. Well, then why say that? Yeah, why did you say that, then? For clout? Gay is not allowed. (laughs) Gay is not allowed. Why do you think that? Hey. (laughs) <laughs> Sorry, I just parted. <laughs> <laughs> my, <laughs> my sweaty feet and my socks. I don't have shoes on because my feet got so hot. Jared across the chair. Why, hey, why do you say that? You shouldn't. Nikki Blonsky. Where is she? She has oh. me blocked, so I haven't seen her. She is. Is like, she on a bad one? No, she's chilling. Like, she's living her fucking life. But, like, I watch her live streams on TikTok every once in a while. She has a spot in my heart forever there's a few people that like have a spot in my heart and she is one of them um and i can't name the other ones because it's really problematic (laughs) i thought you were saying i can't name the other ones because like you can't think of them and i was gonna be like that i guess how big of a spot do they really have um if you read self-help books i don't know if i want to talk to you that's if it. you can't figure it out on your own, like, type shit, or, like... I'm just, like, you don't have, like... I feel like self-help books are, like, the Avon of makeup. Like or, like, scam. the Mary-Kate, yeah, of It's, like, makeup. a period scheme, but... Yeah, it's I've super period that. scheme. Period, period. scheme. <laughs> Sorry, I'm bleeding. I'm free bleeding right now, and my period chair is really wet. Scheme. <laughs> it's, like, a pyramid scheme, and all the graphic design for it looks like they... Like, AI generated it. I've noticed, like, looking at, like, go to a Barnes and Nobles and just look at all of the book covers. Like, they look fucking insane. Like, it's insane. There can't be words behind that cover. No, they Some literally freak seem me like, out. If you, like, picked it up, it would shake and there'd be, like, an old key <laughs> it in it. It rattles. <laughs> like, somebody left it well, there. Well, soon, soon, books are just going to be fucking SD cards that we put into our ears. 
How soon do you think that is? I genuinely believe in the next 50 years. <laughs> Something is actually wrong with me. I can't even get LASIK because my eyes are dry. Do you know how many people like just wouldn't be able to get that? Like, because would it have to? It would have to do with your eyes. It would have to connect to your eyes so you could see it. Or is no. it you're just like your brain is reading it? It's just your brain. It's a chip in your brain. Such a necessary. This no, thing literally in like. Done. So I saw like a video of like kids from like the nineteen sixties like predicting what the two thousands were gonna look like. And cool. one of them was like, "Dude, I'm gonna have a huge TikTok account because yeah. my grandson is gonna <laughs> film me." I'm gonna do oh. NPC TikTok live videos. <laughs> my, my grandpa's gonna. Uh, my grandson is gonna post pictures of me when I was hot as fuck. Yeah. And I'm gonna be popping on TikTok. Yeah. And I'm gonna bang. Yeah, okay. Fuck! <laughs> okay, what Fuck. were you saying? What were they um, predicting? Oh, but they just, like, predicted a bunch of shit. I forgot what, what I was saying. Why was well, I saying you're that? supposed to remember what they were saying. That's Well, what they were saying, like, oh, they're going to, like, have, like, phones in their homes and, like, just shit like that. Like, they're going to have TV that's in color. Not the most creative people ever. Huh? Well, no, in, <laughs> like, in back then it was. It was. I mean, I guess both phones they existed also, and TVs existed, so they were, like... It'll be like what we have, but like kind of the opposite. It all, Instead of outside, it's inside. No, no, no. It was it was impressive because like the other <laughs> shit they were saying was like, oh, they'll be like scared of the nuke and shit, like mm. and shit like that, and like yeah, yeah. We're I fear no man afraid. though, so it's like I think nukes are a lie to keep the population in check to scare us into submission we don't have but how many million... people are like damn i shouldn't run this red light because like what if the nuke <laughs> comes like it's not stopping like yeah i mean it's deeper than that <laughs> i guess That's, yeah that's my favorite yeah. uh, conspiracy theory like political no nukes. yeah there's no nukes like nukes are like what backs the u.s dollar value i guess yeah yeah the yeah. military industrial complex it all goes back to it ooh, ooh, ooh. that's Very crazy because i dropped a nuke on your mom's um coochie oh she well blew i blew up i dropped a nuke which is a turd in your mom's <laughs> vagina and it gave her a bacterial yeast infection a bacterial yeast infection um right right okay wait 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 i have shit written down but i gotta find it first because it's like mixed into what i already said um oh did you guys see the lk99 thing what LK the hell is 99? that it's like the superconductor no i didn't that? see that no there's like some uh south korean scientists that figured out a way to make a superconductor oh without... at room temperature yeah yeah which is crazy yeah because it, it's yeah really crazy and, like, and crazy. we would use that for <laughs> like... well it's like an mri machine costs like 40 million dollars and you could make one for like a thousand dollars because you don't have to like cool it yeah oh. and you could make like floating they gotta trains. put that on my ps5 yeah because Literally. didn't we have to like used to like freeze like these like yeah. magnets to like make them levitate i watched this video by this guy on youtube and he was like basically saying that it would it would change the world if we, they actually pulled this shit off. Cause like, have you seen the drama with it? Can you put that in it? a car? Yeah, that's what they were saying. Is like you could create tracks and like wow. make cars float, and then you'd Not be like friction unnecessary yeah. though. Also, like, did really, you see the drama like, with it? Like, really, like, let's just use it to like cool down the earth. But like, no, the yeah. cars float. Like, it always has to be that. They, they said like, that they could make like a quantum computer wing bot. That kid, oh, like, that lives in that 17 million different need. realities. So and, it's, and it gets embedded in the hood of a clit. So then exactly. it's like a, yeah, it's like a Neuralink, but for your exactly. wing bot. Yep. And then anytime you're horny, you're just like. A Neuralink, <laughs> but for your pussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, what were you You're saying? not allowed to say the P word. Yeah, it I was actually, crazy coming out. I actually out. feel that. I'm sorry. But yeah. Um, um, but there was saying? a lot of drama with it because like they submitted it like years and years and years like not years and years like three years ago and everybody was like bro this shit is physically impossible like y'all are lying y'all are making this shit up and they kind of were they were like theorizing and they used like a different material like copper or something like i don't i don't know exactly the science behind it but basically the drama is that like it kind of started leaking that they were cracking the code so the scientists oh. that went and published it first it was a group of three because they won a Nobel Peace Prizes and you can only get Nobel Peace Prizes in groups of three or less. So people were like kind of copying annoying. the what science. That's annoying if I'm just like really cool and you, I'm just like always Yeah, winning. and you're tapped in. Yeah. That seems yeah. Well, you can get one solo, but he, ran, he broke away 
and like um, um, he tried submitted to, like, it Zuckerberg first. Then? So yeah, exactly. I would have to start like a boy band to get my next Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't do like I'd have to start like a duo, like an outcast kind of situation. Duo I Chrome? What so. is Duo Chrome? What? What the hell? Like the know. that's like a finish of paint. Yeah. Adrenochrome. Yes, I've been eating a lot of adrenochrome recently. Why are you looking at me? You're what looking at that? me way too much. <laughs> Am I not supposed to look at you? I actually feel like this whole episode I haven't looked at you, and that's why I started looking at you, because <laughs> I've been just, like, zoning off while y'all talk about, like, magnets and fans. Okay, this is a hard... This is a crazy take. God sends his tastiest babies to his hungriest pit bulls. <laughs> well, okay, listen. What, what does that mean? That pit bulls eat children. Oh, okay. Okay, like, I love Whoa. animals. <laughs> oh, my God, man. No, I love animals, Something but, like, pit bulls. Seriously, did you just think of that? No, I wrote it down. I know, but I'm saying, like, did you think of that? Well, not those exact, that exact verbiage, no. Yeah. But... Okay, because I was like, in what world were you around pit bulls? And that, and like no, I posted that on my meme account. Oh, Literally, I all of it. that shit I po- read is just shit I posted from my meme account. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought like you were talking to somebody and they were like, yeah, like my pit bull like fucked my baby up or some shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. God sends his tastiest kids to his pit bulls. <laughs> um, that was like the craziest thing I think you've ever said. But. I was going to get into, like... Okay, go. Yeah, go for it. Sorry. I love animals and, like, shit, but, like, pit bulls are kind of scary. And that's, like, my probably my most problematic take ever is... And the the people who ride for oh, pit bulls... Oh, you think that's the... Ride okay. for pit bulls. <laughs> I was just like... <laughs> this is one that I did come up with. Um, I don't know how to word it, though, but basically it's, like... Like what? Oh man, you are on a roll right now. Like this is insane. No, 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 no. You're saying men do the same thing? Cut, cut, cut. cut. <laughs> okay. This episode is already cut and sliced to fucking shreds. I know. We just like, went on, like a... what, No, you, no, I'm done. It's it's done. Okay. It's done. It's right. done. Right. Right. Should I tell the story about the scary men at Nobu? Yes. Um. So. I was at this event with like a bunch of homegirls and it was it was at the Malibu Pier which is right next to the Nobu like in Malibu. Yes, I go to the Nobu in Malibu like and it's easy and I just do it on a whim. Like that's just the kind of life I lead. But one of them really likes eating there and they were like, "Oh, we should go." So we walked over, we tried so hard to get a table. They literally looked us up and down and we're like, "We do not have anything here." And we begged for an ETA for a table and they were like, "We can't do that." And then my friend was like, but if you had to guess, could you? And she was like, I literally cannot guess for you right now. Like, it was a weird interaction. But we went to Nobu, couldn't get a table. Then we were told we could go to the bar area and you can order food there. I've also already told this story to Drew. So if he seems, like, unamused, it's not because it's an awesome, like, not an awesome story. It's because I've already told him. Exactly. So I guess this is more for Kai because he's the only one in the room who hasn't heard it. But um, we couldn't get a table and then we have to sit at the bar. My altar hasn't heard it. Should I front? Should I bring him up? Are you serious? Jericho. Like, did, did, wait, you're, did you name him or did he name himself? Hey, Jericho. Jericho. Yeah, did you? I mean, you're not that much different from Drew. I'm emo. Oh, okay. Did you give yourself <laughs> that name? or? I was cutting for Justin Bieber and interrupted by a Nobu story. Oh, that didn't answer my question. And now Warren. Also, bo- both of those people are fully fine. You don't have to do that for them. Like, you're not in, like... Um, now Warren left One Direction. That was, like, a long time ago, and he never left. I, I guess technically everybody who stayed in One Direction got fired. Yeah. They got laid off, <laughs> which is kind of embarrassing. Like, Zayn left, and then it was like, fuck. All right, Drew's back. Going. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you don't seem like it took that long to change back. It's really easy. It's like they're sitting at, like, a round table in my brain at all times. Okay, they're sitting at the red table with Jada Smith and Willow Smith? Well, no, no, no. Babe. That was just a joke. I don't think those (laughs) are just people in your head. Like, those are real people. Willow. (laughs) Willow Pill. (laughs) I don't know what you're saying to me. I'm going to keep going. With or without her pill. Willow Pill is a drag queen that ate down and won the season. Oh, okay. Um, And she... Oh, you're just like... Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> Whoa. Anyways, we're sitting in the corner of this bar. When we walk in, immediately these two older men who had to have been in their, like, mid to late 50s um, <laughs> were staring at us. But And all of us kind of saw it, but none of us acknowledged it because we were like, whatever. We finish eating. Wait, can you pause real quick? I'm sorry. Um, I just hate, like, women being, like, <laughs> being, like talked to and looked at weird by men <laughs> I'm like do you need wow. to take like a three hour break yeah i need to go lay down and cry <laughs> that's crazy because it didn't really affect me like that so it's like why are you well it's, know, it's not really I know you're covering. it's not really about you it's more about oh i guess right now. <laughs> it's more i about... guess it's about the men involved it's <laughs> yeah, more about yeah. them and like what they're up to yeah my emotions are more important than yours oh wow um actually can you stop touching me thank you <laughs> So whatever, we like didn't acknowledge them. We finished our food, we're finishing our drink, and as we're finishing, the two guys go up and talk to two of the girls we're with. And me and like the other girls are kind of like, oh, okay, like th- they'll walk away eventually, I'm sure. They don't walk away. Ten minutes has passed, and like t- our two homegirls are kind of looking at us and they're like And I'm like, oh. And we like kind of Wait, try you to said inter- in mid fifties? Late fifties? Yeah, they had Wait, what the fuck? Kai was not there. Kai was in New York. <laughs> Dude, I'm not in my mid 50s. Oh, no, he was in his mid 90s by Jonah Hill. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'm not in my mid 90s. <laughs> Low key was Jonah Hill, guys. Like, that's who it was. He, I mean, I wouldn't put it past him. Um, It was not Jonah Hill. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> so, whatever. We all start talking, and then he's like guessing where we're all from, and he keeps talking to all of us. And I was just already kind of drunk, and he wouldn't get the hint that we didn't want him to be talking to us because we'd be like, Yeah, but you know, we're about to like have one more drink and leave, like whatever. Like, just trying to like get him away. And we're like, Yeah, we're having a girls' night. Like, and he just wouldn't back off. And then my friend and me were like, They're not even gonna buy us drinks. And they look like they have a lot of money and they won't leave us alone. And I was like, oh, we should just ask if they're gonna. And I think at one point, like, somebody kind of threw it into conversation and they just ignored it. So then I got on my phone onto Instagram and I put, buy, I'll insert the photo because I have a photo yeah. of both of these things. I put, buy us a drink, question mark, on the thing. And I kind of started to like show it to Like you hold up at, like, a concert. Yeah. Like, like, for <laughs> visual listeners, it's, like, black screen, white text, yeah, really big. Yeah, it was, like, just fully, like, subtitled out. And I'm like, and I, I'm trying to show it to them and they're kind of just like, like literally like, <laughs> like <laughs> looking away like, like acting it. like they don't see it like it's like right here wait hold your hand out to me it's like right there and they're like <laughs> <laughs> like slowly just moving away and then i was like hello like oh that was probably so loud into that mic but i was like hello come on and i like made them read it and then you're just looking at them like <laughs> um Hey, uh, like, and they just keep talking to everybody else. Wait, why are you like an actress? That was good. I'm not even just playing. Like, that was good. (laughs) I'm not even just playing. You kind of sounded like Shawty Bay. I'm not even just playing this. Like, I'm for real. Um, but I hate how squeaky this chair is under my jeans. It's making me I know. Why are you like shitting? I'm like so gassy. It's all of a sudden. All of a sudden, it's never once squeaked, (laughs) Squeaked. but all of a sudden, it's the chair because I think, and you're shitting yourself. I, I think you're wearing a diaper. In diapers. We need to. We need I to really bring back wanna, diapers. I'm not kidding. I need to piss in a diaper. Should we soon. do it tonight? I'm. I'm literally, I, I literally not even will. kidding. Because <laughs> I was so jealous of Christian and Michael when they <laughs> put on diapers and peed in them without me. I was like, "Fuck, dude, I need to try that." Um, that's like the craziest sentence ever. I was so jealous of my other grown ass friends who were pissing in diapers without me. Anyways, gotta try it out. They ignore it, and then they keep talking, and we like kind of keep trying to just get them away but the, like from us they won't and then i put on my phone again i was like want a drink question mark on me exclamation point and i was like hello and i was like come on is this gonna get you like you know you want it like i just like kept doing that also uh one of the friends is tavian she pointed out to me when i saw her the other day she was like that the way i was showing the phone was i was like like <laughs> shaking my shoulder at them so like, no one can read yeah. it it's just like hey, <laughs> like being really like moving a lot um and then one of the guys started to almost like answer i was like oh uh, actually like he's gonna <laughs> let me buy him a drink and i was like i'm not gonna buy you a drink i was kidding oh but if the roles were reversed yeah that would be funny <laughs> i just for you know for a second i thought you were like like here for women and now it seems like you're just like, like women, you're playing both sides no listen women come from my rib and they are the devil 
Oh, whoa. <laughs> God, dude. Is that like I, a religious ideology? I can't get behind that personally. Oh, my like, I, God. I am, I am like, Kai, she wants you so bad. She's hearing this. She's going to finger gonna you. This? She's going to finger you. Okay, okay. But seriously, no jokes. Like, that's fucked up. And I don't support that. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Like, loser. <laughs> oh, I can get loud. Should I get loud? I know, no, don't no, I won't. So. <laughs> You're gonna, it's going to scare you. <laughs> Dude, that was so loud. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. All right, I'm freaking out. The year is almost over and I feel like I have done nothing and I have such a hard time manufacturing my life the way I should be. And then I have a moment to myself where I'm like, why am I trying so hard to manufacture my life? The important thing is that I'm feeling okay. And what I should do is sit down and talk to my therapist about the things I need personally, not about the things I need objectively. Yeah, honestly, I should be a therapist on BetterHelp at this point. I'm kidding. I'm fully not qualified. And the good thing about BetterHelp is you can find a qualified therapist who is there whenever you need it, super flexible and convenient and suited to your schedule. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash intercom today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp. H-E-L-P dot com slash intercom. Enjoy. This episode of Emergency Intercom is sponsored by ShipStation. There's a few things in my life that I wish I could automate. Laundry being one of them. Two, uh, food. Why do I have to cook food? Why doesn't it just come in a pill that I take daily that gives me the nutrition that I need to sustain life and to grow? Luckily for e-commerce business owners, shipping is no longer a manual task thanks to ShipStation. With ShipStation, there's a free trial and there's a quick setup process so you can easily manage orders from one simple dashboard, print shipping labels, compare shipping rates and delivery times, and optimize every shipment and automate delivery notifications. The integration is seamless and it includes places like Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and so many more. Get up to 84% off USPS and UPS shipping rates. And if that is not enough, use my promo code to try ShipStation for free for two months. Over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce business through ShipStation. And 98% of the companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. Spend more time growing your business when you automate shipping tasks with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use code EMERGENCY today to sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, code EMERGENCY. Um, but whatever, I was like, I'm not going to buy you a drink. And then he starts going on. He's like, you know what, girls? I have a better idea. All of you come to my house. I have plenty of alcohol. I have a pool. I got a disco ball and a dance floor. We can get start a little party of our own. Like start saying all this. And I just look at him. I'm like, are you crazy? You're gonna okay. fucking kill us. Like no. Anya fumbled the bag like crazy, and I'm not even saying that. Like she literally fumbled for me and the rest of my summer. Like you should have just bit the bullet. Like you have to make it about you. <laughs> 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 not even like Enya fumbled so hard she could have like gotten the car she wanted like all this stuff it's like she fumbled so hard I could have had access to a pool this I summer don't have friends with pools like, but like it would have been so easy if that was your bae like yeah I guess all I would have to do is like have sex and commit to somebody who's like really gross I do it every day <laughs> every day I'm looking at her <laughs> oh you're telling me <laughs> queen <really ugly>. queen <laughs> Queen, you too, queen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God, I love the idea of you wanting Enya to take the chance of getting trafficked so you can see a disco ball. Yeah, a disco yeah, ball like- on the dance floor inside the house. But he has bread. Like, that's crazy. But he wouldn't buy you a drink. That's fucking I, That's weird. what Does I'm saying. Like, no, that's what I kept saying. And I made that joke to him. I was like, he kept he saying it. He actually might be the killer. He literally kept saying it like five times. He was like, come to our house, come to our house, come to our house. And we were like, no. And then he wouldn't leave us alone. We were like, can you even make drinks? Like, we can get really good drinks here. So even in the off chance we did go to your house, what can you make? And then he looks at me. He's like, what do you like to drink? And I was like, tequila. And he was like, I can make you a triple shot margarita that will send you off. And I was like, you are going yeah. to behead me. <laughs> <laughs> you need to leave me alone. Send you <laughs> off literally is code for so killing you. Fucked up. Yeah, and then yeah. I said that. I was like, so I was like, so you just want us to go to your house so you can kill us. So you're like, and he was like, I couldn't take on all four, all five of you. And I was like, oh. 
We were like, okay, so you can take on like two of us or something? Yeah. Like, what is happening? He just wouldn't leave us alone. And then I, I started getting really annoyed because he mentioned, he kept being like, come to my house, come to my house, come to my house. And we were like, no, we don't even live close to here. The like, action of your consequences. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then he like kept like talking. And then I just started getting really annoyed and I would turn to the bar and then yeah. turn back and be like, ah! like start yelling like that. In the you middle literally of caused an earthquake <laughs> with that scream. I like started screaming and they didn't budge. Like he literally was just like, I had told him I was from Miami. He goes, there's that spice coming out. Oh, like God. He, he was just like eating it. Like, dude, it was insane. One of them was definitely a little senile. Like anything you said to him, he couldn't hear. So that's probably why the screams didn't bother him. Like when I told him, huh? I, I, literally, I, he, they were like, oh, are you Cuban? Cause I'm from Miami. I was like, yeah, I'm like Cuban and Honduran. And he goes, oh, I love Hungary. I can't believe I haven't been back in so long. And like started going to his like Honduras. And he was like, yeah, Hungary. And like, he literally kept taking back. I was like, no, 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 no. Oh um, my gosh. Whatever. It just like kept going for so fucking long and they like would not budge. I can't remember some of the other shit I did. I was just acting fucking insane. Oh, I told them I was a landlord for an RV park. Oh yeah. Um, and then it turns out that, <laughs> that he guy. was literally a landlord for an RV because park. Because it was, it was what? one of the, one and of he the... was quote, drilling in you the entire time about, he was like, no, like this is fucking weird. Like this is like a match made in heaven. Like this is weird that we're both RV landlords. Yeah. He became obsessed with it because also, and his life sucked balls too well he ate it up so like oh yeah. actually I, well, I, two other things I did before I get into that he was holding this drink and I literally like wait hold this like they at this point this, this is interaction crazy. has gone on for like 25 minutes I go give me that <laughs> he like yanked his cup out of his hand and he was like oh you want some tequila huh and I was like I just like yanked your cup out of your hand oh my and God, that's literally so bad. Leave. and then one of their phones was on there like on the like bar table I was like give me that like I just started like grabbing shit and cause I, I wanted to scare them away like what I was hoping would happen is they'd be like okay we've been drilling these girls trying to get them to come to our house for 30 minutes when they've said no 18 times but one of them has to budge. Yeah. And I thought maybe they'd be like, oh, one of them is actually fucking insane and will come to my house and steal everything. I mean, all of y'all were being kind of kooky, right? Dude, no, like... all of us literally just started saying the craziest shit in response. Like, they'd be like, how old are you? And I was like, oh, her, she's 16. Don't tell the bartender. <laughs> and he literally was like, oh, I wouldn't. And we what were like, whoa. Oh, we were like, no. this is like they insane. literally, They literally thought like Manic Pixie Dream Girl, like Eternal yeah. Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Like this is going to change our lives. Like, I think these are the girls. There's something deep. There's got to be a better word for whatever I was, energy I was showing them. Because it was not like. The killer. Yeah. I would, the robber. The robber I, and the like, killer. These guys were so weird. And they were like, that girl needs help. Like something's wrong with her. But. Clinic, cl clinically insane dream girl. BPD uh, dream girl. I'm gonna keep going. Um. Erectile dysfunction dream boy. <laughs> okay, so you're like freaking out, dude. But oh my god, now I have a, like um like a hiccup that's stuck in my um in my like throat goat um in my throat. She's the goat. In my goat throat. throat. <laughs> Um, that okay. is goaded. But one of them, like, they kept... Yeah, thank you, actually. Thank you for recognizing that. Um, but they kept asking, and then finally one of our friends was like, dude, actually, I'm so sorry. I know we keep saying no, but it's because we all live so far, and we all started saying places that were, like, really far from Malibu. And I was like, yeah, dude, I live in fucking Pomona. I have to take, like, the most expensive Uber of my life back. And then he was like... <laughs> Malibu to <laughs> Pomona, for if you don't know, is, like, what, like... 18 hours. No, it's literally like it, if it was at the middle of the night, I think it'd be like three hours, yeah. like maybe longer. Like, but in the middle of the night, it'd probably still be like two hours and 30 minutes. But he just like then hones in on me. He's like, You are not from fucking Pomona. And I was like, What's wrong with Pomona? I literally am. I have to live there. My job is there. And then one of our friends was like, Yeah, she's got to get back to the RV business. And then he was like, the RV business. I was like, oh yeah, I'm a landlord for an RV, like a trailer park. And then he was like, no, you're not. And I was like, I don't understand why you're becoming so hostile with me. That's literally my life. Like I live in Pomona. I'm a landlord. Like, I don't know why that's the craziest thing ever. And then he was like, 
how many RVs do you have? And I was like, okay, this is going to sound crazy, but I have eight acres with 35 RVs on them. Which is so small. <laughs> And I was like with 35, but I, I did mention that. And I think that's why he believed it. I, Cause I was like, and I know that sounds like I'm cramming a, oh, is it? Yeah. It just, it just went, but it's fine. And I was like, and I know that sounds like a lot of RVs for one pocket of land, but like, that's how it's always been. Like I, tr- I treat my like tenants really, really good. And he was like, what, what, what's the prices? So I was like 12, uh, 1200 to 1800. But like, it just depends on like how new the RV is. And then he started freaking out. He's like, oh my God, like, this is actually crazy. Like, do you actually do that? And I was like, why would I just say all of that, dude? Like, why would I lie about that? And then he started to become like overly into it. So I just turned and paid the tab. And then like my friends were like, see, that's the RV money coming in. Like she's paying the tab. And we had gotten one last drink and we wanted to go outside and smoke. And at this point I was like, this literally isn't funny anymore because it's been going on for 45 minutes and they actually won't leave us alone. So I told the bartender, I was like, hey, we're going to go outside to smoke and finish these drinks. Can you please have like security make sure he doesn't follow after us? And when we got up, they started following us outside. And I think the security came and interfered. And then the security kind of lingered with us while we were on couches. And the second the security started walking away, both of them, like, grabbed their drinks and started walking towards us. And I had to run back and get the security and tell them to come and, like, block them again. It was the craziest interaction I think I've ever had at that restaurant. Um, And I hope somebody from the restaurant hears this and bans me. (laughs) For giving bad vibes publicly. Bad vibes. That's my long story. That's my really long story, guys. I'm sorry. I'm never going to talk again. Well, you're beautiful. Is that what you have written down? Yeah, you're beautiful. You're lovely. Um, Why is it taking you so long to read that? Are you making it up? I don't think you wrote that down. I wrote all of it down. You did it. That's a lot more words than what you're saying. Fuck, I wrote something down right before this that I wanted to talk about, but, like... Oh, you probably just wrote it down in your mind. Um, so if you just think hard enough. Wait, so the guy was super old? Like yeah, them? but both of them were, like, in their, like, late 50s, like, maybe mid-60s. I kept, I kept imagining, you know, that video of... Um, Mitch McConnell, where he like pauses. Yeah, I kept no, that watching was... that when you held up the thing of like, can we get a drink? <laughs> Getting flash like, bang. He like just stares off to the See, That was literally what I was giving. They were like looking through my phone. They did not want to read it. This week has been good bipartisan cooperation and a string of uh, uh... me and Drew were talking about it after I told him. Because I woke up the next day and was like, that was insane. I can't believe that they drilled for 40 minutes because they were that horny and, like, desperate. And me and Drew were discussing if we think they went home and were like, damn, I Fuck, I fucked up. Like, oh, like, that was so weird. Like, I can't believe I did that. Like, did they have hangover anxiety the next day? Or were they like, dude, that girl was so mean. Or or were they like, damn, like, I ate that shit up. Like, I almost bagged five girls at once. Yeah, I... (laughs) I know. Probably and he, he that. Was like, oh, I was like, so, I was this close. Yeah. But the meddling security guard, like, <laughs> meddling kids. Yeah. Um, Why do they call them that? Like, they're, like, not metal. They're, like, normal. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> meddling. Yeah, what are they meddling? Meddling what together? The crime also, scene. Also, I thought that was called, like, a... Like, that was, like, the thing with the fire on it. That's fair. Girl, what? what the hell are you fucking saying right now? You're freaking me the fuck out. You're literally freaking me the fuck out. All right. Challenge for both of you guys. Okay. Look down at your zipper, and I bet I can guess what the three letters are on it. Oh, three letters? What the hell? There's three letters on my zipper? How did he know that? And it's YKK. And I guarantee you motherfuckers out there are wearing it too. Yeah, because it's like the widest manufacturer of zippers like on the planet. And then some of the zippers on old Did Levi's. Say? Yeah, it says it. Some of the old zippers on Levi's, I think, are like made by Levi's. And that like oh. old Levi's have like a specific zipper and that's how you know how old they are. Well, thanks for so ruining you're not my fucking anything. magic oh, you, oh, trick. You thought you were going to oh teach me something right God. now. I know everything. You can't teach me. Oh, that's why our you relationship know, didn't work out because you can't give me anything. I gave and I gave you and I gave and you can't give me anything. You don't know a lot of fucking shit. Yeah, Where are our kids? Oh, yeah. I know where they are. I just don't want to say it publicly because of their safety. So. Mm, that's what I would say, too. Gotcha. You guys are I bad would. parents. 
Um, okay. I'm Says sorry. the fucking loser single bitch. Oh my god. Sad motherfucker. What does it have to loser do? Loser bitch. I'm pointing out the fact that you are not good No Virgin. bitches, no love, no life. Virgin. Loser. What does, that ha- what does it have to do with you guys, me pointing out that your parenting is not that good? Uh... Because you've never had sex and you can't even make kids because you've never done it. Yeah, because nobody wants to touch you because you're fucking disgusting. Okay, that was too far. That was too far. Yeah, that was too far because you touch him, so that would make you yeah, disgusting. Yeah, exactly. Was it you last night, Drew, or was it Jericho? Last night back. boning you? <laughs> yeah. That was Raymond. <laughs> Damn, Raymond? Okay. That was Ray Mysterio. <laughs> He's not fronting right now. Fuck, I don't want my phone to die, but I need to watch Ray this Mysterio, video again. Ray Mysterio, is that? <laughs> the wrestler. Oh, yeah. Johnny! Hello? Johnny! Yes? Oh, my God, I can't find Johnny. Where is he? Can't find Johnny. My mom's going to kill me. I can't find Johnny. I'm right here. You left me outside. When are you seeing Johnny? What? You seeing Johnny? See Journey? I think she's invisible. How you doing? How you yeah, Journey, what Journey at? I was. <laughs> Dude, Context. he literally broke her spirit. Yeah. Like, she, like. It was probably at the, fun. At the it beginning was... of it, like, it was funny for her, and then he went for so long. Also, you know what I realized? Is Journey. this was posted on Snapchat, and I don't think this person was, like, a content creator like that, so that means this older brother just did this shit to his sister <laughs> for, like, way too long. It was, like, a trend on Vine at the time. Oh, really? Okay, right, right. But this is the best one to ever Yeah, no, out this one's so yeah. good. She just said, like, it's actually so sad. Also, I'm what was her right reaction when he funny. finally was like, no, you're real? I wonder if she was just like i love my mom's gonna kill me <laughs> <laughs> like just making Bob. it real um well right, you know what's really scary oh the oh, fuck savage that was honestly savage d savage and madison beer <laughs> oh the madison beer beef d savage jack Galinsky. <gasps> oh baby gronk baby gronk just lived I don't up know what the fuck baby gronk just right rizzed up livy dunn Doing that four weeks later. <laughs> baby Gronk. You know Baby Gronk? No. Dude, he's the sickest fucking kid ever, okay, bro. We're gonna he's got like 18 <laughs> college offers for football and he doesn't even play like that And much. he rizzed up Livy Dunn. Yeah, and Livy Dunn. Who the fuck is Livy Dunn? LSU. LSU Jack Galinsky. Okay. Um. He rizzed up Livy Dunn. Yeah, I, I heard. Bro, bro, literally, bro, <laughs> literally, bro. bro. Literally, you do um, not want to mess with me, bro. But um, Gen Alpha is literally making memes now, and it's really, really fucking scary because Gen Alpha. Yes, Gen Alpha. The like, new one. What the, a name. The new ones. I know they're not Alpha. Why just bro. call them Gen? Call a. them fucking Gen Beta, more like, because they're fucking pussies. They got addicted to their fucking iPads and Roblox. Like, duh. Like Gen Gen Beta, more like. We should be called Sigma, Gen Sigma. Yeah, I'm tired of being called Gen Z. Wait, that's what you think you are? I think that's I. Crazy. Yeah, I'm Gen more Z. like boomer. <laughs> <laughs> Booyah! I'm not a boomer. Bodoinka doink. <laughs> more like Gen Bodoinka doink. <laughs> you got me. That was um, good. What the fuck Man. was I saying? Oh, Gen Alpha is making memes now. And one of them is like skippity doo fucking toilet. What are they, like four? Yeah, they're babies. They're young. But they're making memes now, which means we're all about to get made fucking fun of. And we're going to be the loser cringe like Facebook. And you know what's we've crazy? We've been made fun of. No, 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 no. I by read, younger people? I treat, it's crazy. The, the cycle is just continuing because... We used to look at our parents and be like, God damn it, our parents are so fucking stupid. They believe everything they read on Facebook. We are now our fucking parents. We have become our parents with fucking TikTok because everything on TikTok is real to everyone in our generation. And it's just misinformation and lies spread by me. <laughs> um, but yeah, they have this meme called like Skippy Toilet or something that like. Why do you know this? Maddox. Oh, wow. Yeah. Skippy toilet. I don't know what the... F- oh, no. I just erased all of my fucking notes. No. Wait. They're all gone. 
Well, don't don't back up yet. Yeah, I don't think you're shaking it right. You're freaking me out. They're all gone. All the notes are gone. <laughs> oh wow, at popped up. <laughs> um. Okay, well that sucks, but I have a second one, so we're good. Um. But yeah, look up. Uh, I'll look it up on our phone. My phone. Um, that is our Jen, phone because I look through it when I want because you're always cheating on me. Sh- it just turns out she never wanted to see my pictures in the first place. She never really actually cared. What the fuck are you quoting? Oh shit! I didn't realize that Jen, Jen Alpha was twelve years old now. Yeah, they're young. Like twelve is, I, that's like a person. Kinda. Wait, okay, so I'm confused. And then what? Twelve to twenty? What is? I Gen think, Z? I think after, if you're 14 right now, you're Gen Z. And Up we're in the like, gray area of millennial and X. We're the two we? years. Yeah, you're Gislennial. Yeah. I think is the term. Don't say that though. to a woman. What's wrong with you? It, it, I'm sorry. You are so that. <laughs> so this. Damn, I'll I show thought you. Generation Alpha was like six years old. That's what I'm no, saying. I thought they young. were like toddlers. And they live in avatars. They're going to be cringed out. What were you saying, Kyle? Like that, like they live as avatars online and they're oh, going to be yeah. fucking creeped out by like us showing our face online. Yeah. There's all these theories that the next generation is going to view like not having privacy as like cringe. So everyone will just use like an avatar, which to... is ideal because I'm like, all right, I'm already agreeing with them. I'm so young at heart, you know, yeah. but this is the memes that they created. I feel like this was already a thing. Ask your ask your nine year old, ten year old, eleven year old, twelve year old. I've never heard of this. That not that song. I've heard that song, but remember this style of videos and how popular it was, like. It was during like Happy Meals oh, I'm, era. I'm speaking oh, just on Skippity Toilet. It's oh. like a thing that all of your younger siblings know, but you have no idea that fucking existed. Yeah, I would have never seen that. If you um, didn't show that and thing. it's like a whole like series of videos that this dude creates, and Jin Alpha just like eats it the fuck up. I mean, that had 88 million views, and the other one had 74 million views, and they just like eat it up. But it literally just looks like Gary's Mod videos, and it's yeah. probably fucking made in Gary's Mod or some shit. Um, I. I guess we went through phases as like our generation of making some of the worst jokes and like E. Literally the letter E was funny. Deep fried. Do y'all remember that? Oh, like deep frying memes? Or no, the letter E meme. I never It saw got that. to the point where the letter E was funny. And I ate it up. Like this is how far gone we went in meme culture. Like, <laughs> guys, I'm not kidding. I know like I could teach a college class. About memes. On, on memes. Like, I'm, and I'm not even just saying that. Like, I fucking love memes. I think they, like, speak so much to, like, culture. Like, literally, like, not to be fucking lame and loser, but, like, they literally, like, show what the masses are thinking. And, like, the fact that, like, I know, like, people, like, aliens were confirmed real and everyone was just, like, making jokes about it is fucking crazy because five years ago if aliens were announced that they were real it would have like literally broken everything ever um but even though like oh mighty weekend t-shirt but that's a psychological operation though um it is it is it's distracting us both um you think (laughs) mitch mcconnell froze on tv you think uaps are psyop yeah i don't believe in project green bean or whatever the fuck um Project Blue Beam is like that. They're Project <laughs> Green Beam. I was like, whoa, like what is that? And um, I realized what you're saying. No, it's. Do you know what that is? It's like no. that the government like it has projectors that project UFOs in the sky to like whatever uh, confirm their alien agenda to distract us from. You know what they're gonna do is aliens. This is this is the whole fucking game plan. Aliens are announced real. Then in the next few months, right. They're going to be coming to Earth more frequently. Well, then they're going to destroy the power grid. Aliens are going to destroy the power grid. Uh-huh. It's going to wipe out everything, all of our financial, crypto, all of our currencies. Then they're going to instate Fed now. This is real shit, y'all. <laughs> no, it, it's, it's crazy. No. 
<laughs> the aliens are going to make way for the CBDC. Exactly. Fed now is going to be instated. And because then it's all because the aliens The aliens are going to take away Sheehan's Rico charge. So no. Keep shipping no. Packages. I want Biden to stop gatekeeping the alien essay. Okay. Did you just shit yourself? <laughs> no, sorry. But are you going to ignore what fucking guy just said? What did he say? He said, I'm, you know, you repeat it actually. Go I want Biden to stop gatekeeping the alien essay. Oh, T. You never had? probably goes crazy. You never had? Uh, no. That was I've crazy. You being oh. like, oh, T. You've never had. <laughs> that, like, alien pussy. No, that shit's tea. like, that shit is literally, like, l- out of this world. Like, it's fucking I, yeah, crazy. Yeah, sure. It looks... Like, you ever heard of alien moan? No. You never heard it? No. You can't make an alien moan? It's really fucking easy, bro. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Beast is playing with dynamite now, so he's ripping into the ozone layer. He's a terrorist. Have you seen the last episode? <laughs> Mr. Beast terrorist arc. No, he I haven't watched. Oh my god, he actually is a genius because of Oppenheimer being out. He's like, let's add explosives in, yeah. like into this. Wow. Like that's the new vibe. Like he no. was like, Solomon was like, wait. It's like when he saw Squid Game and he was like, wait, what if I did exactly this? <laughs> <laughs> He's making a nuke. I think Mr. Wait, Beast is gonna set off a hydrogen bomb. That's his next bomb. fucking video. He's is the H bomb, bro? He's gonna set off a hydrogen bomb, like because no, he can because, only go up. No, like, I'm dead it's serious. To the point that I'm bored of them. I'm like, okay, blah, 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 like a train in a hole. Like, oh my god, oh a train through a wall. Wow. Like I literally watched them and I'm like, okay, bored. Tried like you're uh, boring, try, boring. Like, you're tomato, too hard. tomato. And then he started playing with fire and explosives and. No, Mr. Beast terrorism arc. It's coming soon. Yeah, 100%. Um, no, but like I've said it before, like, oh, don't get me wrong. Like, Mr. Beast, come on the podcast. We got some shit to talk or about. Or let me go watch one of the explosions, Because you're please. evil. <laughs> He's I evil. I want to see one of the explosions so bad, man. So um, awesome. No, no, no. Mr. Beast, come on the podcast and convince me you're not evil. I don't, I mean, I don't, actually I don't know if you've ever evil. looked into that frame. But, like, I don't think he would see them. Like, I need to go there. Like, oh, also, um, I was hanging out with Christian, Elisa, and Jester. Who are and those people? S- Who are they? They're some of, like, our closest friends. Uh, I've just, like, got rid of shrooms. all the ops. I've gotten rid of all yeah, the ops. Yeah, you haven't done your shrooms recently, so you're losing your connection. It's just, like, fuck people, bro. It's, like, me, myself, and I. Like, Sigma <laughs> mentality. Like, I came from the bottom, now I'm fucking here type shit. Like, bottom G swag. I think you might still be bottom. No, 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 Never that. <laughs> Anyways, um, oh, we were sitting around watching videos, and then Christian goes, I, oh, my God, I have a video that I think you're really going to like. And I was like, oh, my God, what is it? He's like, watch, just watch. And he wasn't joking. He literally showed me a hydrogen bomb video. Oh, I um, oh, that motherfucker jacked my swag. Yeah, and he showed he it. He jacked my swag. He showed it to me, and he was like, he was like, I just feel like you would love this. And I did, because my first reaction was like, oh, imagine seeing that. It's so beautiful. <laughs> and then we all started laughing because I was like, oh, um, oh, my God, I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. Like, it's literally a, like, like chemical mass warfare, destruction. Yeah, mass, but it looked so pretty. No, I like trust destroying me, the ozone layer. I was like, oh, trust eat. me, I know. Like massive explosions are, it does something to my brain. Like it's still, it's like discovering, like when apes discovered fire for the first time. Like it does that to my brain, yeah. or like making the wheel and rolling it down a hill. That's literally the theory of all Mr. Beast videos. Like that has to be the way he goes. Like, like just I need this to be primal. like when cavemen found fire. Yeah, like primal instincts, like like Colosseum, like type shit. <laughs> Dude, that Beirut explosion video it li- is insane. It looks like an I've anime fight. Scene. Yeah, yeah, I've showed you like a million times. <laughs> all right. There's like an explosion. There's like a shockwave that like eviscerates everything in front of it. Oh, oh yeah. Didn't that happen like last year? In 2020. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have seen that. But yeah. I know it's that insane. Shit is it literally looks wild. like an anime fight scene. Have you seen the one of the dude on the jet ski on the water? And he like, thank God he did this. He was really fucking close, but he jumped into the water because like he saw the explosion and he was like, oh fuck, like I don't know what to do. And he evaded like the shockwave that would have like likely ruptured his eardrums and made him bleed and like all this crazy shit. <laughs> well, should I get into um, Drew Psyop Corner? Yeah, go for it. 
Welcome to Drew Psyop Corner. Check on your friends who aren't having sex. We are not okay. <laughs> Wait, but you said you... That was a quote from Kai. Oh, okay. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not cringe. I'm a reflection of your internalized shame. Ooh. That's just not true. Because <laughs> you're not very pretty. The sensors on toilets aren't automatic flushers. They are cameras stealing your dick and vagina and butt information. <laughs> so tape them. Tape them like you tape your computer screen, you fucking nerds. <laughs> I do it too. I'm scared of it. Every public bathroom you go into, you like <laughs> tape it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking sell that. I'm gonna sell a sticker that you put over the sensor. Oh wow. That is the nastiest thing ever. Wow. Dollar General be leaving that one cashier up there to die. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the best one. That's literally my most favorite one. Yeah, that's really good. Dudes be like, I don't watch TV. I'm not going to let mainstream media tell me how to think. My brother in Christ, you let recommendations underscore watch next dot serve parentheses parentheses determine your whole per personality. That's so yeah. good. Um, if I end up, if God ends up being real and I go to hell, I'm going to be so real. pissed. He's literally real. God hates. <gasps> <laughs> we need to bring that back. No. All right, fine. This is a question for the culture. Um, if I floated 1,000 feet above the ground perfectly still, would the earth rotate beneath me? Why don't we travel that way? If it does. You ever jump, if you jump in an airplane, why don't I splat on the fucking back? If I throw a tennis ball in the car, why doesn't it float backwards? And hit the. I know there's a physics answer, but it's not real. It's conservation of momentum. Oh my it's like God. base level physics. And it's not Bro, real. I don't fucking know. That shit should. It just doesn't happen. Simple. What is that sound? The simple answer is it just the doesn't plane? happen. No. No, I think Josh is doing something on his AC. Oh. No, is that you? Oh, this sound? That's what it was. It sounded like it was coming from Because in the I'm hallway. high and getting to the point that, like, I need to, like, <laughs> You're move. playing I gotta feet. rub my feet together and take a nap. <laughs> All right, last one. When a gay person says, wait, no, because, like, you're going to hear the most incoherent, unintelligent thing you've ever heard. <laughs> may, someone make a compilation of me saying, I wait, no, because... I've you, like, 18 times <laughs> an episode. Also, but oh, you're not yeah. gay. Um, Facts. Yeah. Huh? Um, <laughs> um, I saw a that's... really funny tweet, and I wish I could find it. I've tried to find it, and I can't, but Orion showed it to me because it was on her timeline. And it was like, can you bitches stop bringing those big ass tote bags in the club? You almost knocked the charcoal off my hookah. <laughs> <laughs> I literally cried at that because like I swinging have around. Been, I've been like, hitting the, the face. With a big ass tote bag in a club because you just don't know you're gonna end up there and be like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And, like, <laughs> I've been hitting the face. Doing the with thing tote where you hold it before. in the front. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've literally been hit with one before. <laughs> in a club. And it like made my the inside of my lip bleed. Good. I did it on purpose. So. What the fuck? In the next episode, we're going to announce something so crazy that... It's going to rock your fucking socks off. If you have a family, you might leave them. Yes. Because that's what I would do. I think that's in my cards. Yep. All right. Well, let's get I continue in. family tradition. Like, a lot of people just, like, have their phones now and they, like, find new tradition. But I continue my family tradition. Of what? I will be walking out on my children. <sighs> Oh, yeah. it's I mean, just you in my, literally it's, did. Culturally, it is a part of me. Um, <laughs> don't look at me. Um. Oh, okay. It's bad when a woman says she wants to try something new. Yeah, so just, <laughs> that's oh, not... did did Barbie not teach anybody anything? Hmm. Okay, that's a good point. I didn't yeah. see it yet, because I don't fuck with women movies. <laughs> pink. <laughs> me about little women. Pink. Ew, pink. <laughs> yeah. You with little women. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's get into media. I did watch Carol, and yeah. I think it would have been better if it was about straight people. Yeah. <laughs> no, that movie <laughs> is heartbreaking, y'all. No, that movie fucked me up, and I almost feel like I shouldn't have watched it. But you know what? Cinema is... <laughs> 
cinema. You got you got the cinema, Harry Styles. You um, are a cinema, a Hollywood treasure. treasure. <laughs> Action thriller. I can watch you forever. Um, but it was really good, and I need if you haven't watched it, cover your ears. But I need a poster of Kate Blanchett holding up that gun. Kate Pl- Blanchett put her entire fucking pussy into yeah, that film. I thought that was about that's her life. Like it got, I got so into that movie. I literally was like, I can't believe this. This is, is a documentary. Kate. Yeah, that's yeah. what it felt like. But no, she I actually ain't did. Done. You asked me if it like, um, like tore my rectum. I mean, my suspension of belief. Um, oh my god. I did not. Sorry, I'm seeing your mom right after this, and I'm just like, thinking my my head is like going 100 miles per hour. Your hymen? Yeah. I mean, when I ripped your mom's hymen, she bled a lot. A lot more than I've ever seen anybody bleed. Um, Hymen. (laughs) You know, wait, what is it? It's hymen. No. I'm so fucking hymen. Yes, I'm so fucking hymen. That's literally, that's crazy that you knew exactly what I was referencing. Yeah, because that's literally me. We're on the same wavelength. Um, Oh, yeah. And you took an edible this episode, by the way. It's like. Boy. (laughs) (laughs) 21. Boy. Boy. Boy, twenty one. We should do that the next part. If you go to be a conversation, we'll be like, boy, <laughs> boy, um, what the heck, boy? You're done. Boy, what the hell, boy? And you better not be a snitch, cause that's a fucking Carl Bismarck. Who's Carl Bismarck? He's dead. <laughs> do the first part. What is it? You know. I just did the first part. No. Oh, um. <laughs> Is it wait, dude? I can't. Remember I can't remember it either. Motherfucker. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker. And you better not be a snitch, cause I'll tell fucking Carl Bismarck. Motherfucker. <laughs> You're a fucking liar, motherfucker. All right. Um, I think that's the only movie I've watched. Yeah, that's the only movie I watched. And then I'm gonna grab my phone so I can give my music. Uh, and for my movie, um, I don't actually, I don't know if you've seen it. I know you've seen it, but it was me tripping with Kai's mom challenge. Wait, why would you be tripping with her? Are you um, just like trying to like try and something? My penis else? is really small, so it's like basically <laughs> a clit. Um, um, I, I see. I held in that secret, but I now that you've said it, I want to bring up. Can you guys stop banging my mom, please? I mean, you um, tell her that. It's like it. I think she swallowed magnets or something, and then I did too. So they're stuck in my coochie, and hers also <laughs> fell into her coochie. Just please stop it. It's very hard for me. It went down the urinary tract. So okay. like right, and Shh. like I mean, it's a flat magnet. So it like got stuck okay. there, and then we just like when I see her, it's like, it's like, like. That's insane. Yeah. And sometimes it sucks because she'll like, it's such a strong magnet. Sometimes she'll like kick me in my coochie. Oh, and then I'm They've like, literally ripped up, like ripped in half before. Okay. Yeah. Well, I tried. I tried to set boundaries and I guess whatever. I need this job. So. What's more important, Kai? <laughs> your family or your job? The job, probably. There you go. That's yeah. We Taught You Good. Okay. Um, when the Morning Comes by Daryl Hall and John Oates. That is the best song ever. Um, uh, wow. Um, I've been listening to like the same three songs over and over. Seabird by Innovations, Our House by Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. Too many people can put that down to one. Mm. And Iron Man by The Cardigans and just that whole album. Um, my movie is, uh, the small movie that just came out called Barbie. Oh, wow. I don't know if you've Indie heard, film? if you've heard of it, let me know. Um, no, but actually not another teen movie. Classic. Classic. Never seen it. Um, five out of five. Uh Ski Ye Cyberspeed DJ S mix. Um super fucking lit. Um and that's all I'm giving you. I gave uh-huh. you like a bunch of music last week and I don't have anything else. So that, I've given you all of me. I don't know what else you want. All of me wants all, all of you. you. Um, all right. Thanks for watching. This ski, is so weird. Ski. Really uncomfortable. Dude, no. y'all are fucking, you're fucking high and weird. You're, <laughs> you're freaking really the fuck fucking out. Weird. Your parents are going to find out. They can smell it. Even if it's an edible, your breath smells. It smells like an edible. They'll know.
Yeah, you're being really weird right now. They're gonna drug, dude. This sucks, but they're gonna drug test you tomorrow. So and I'm you're not a, no, literally not gonna get kicked out of school. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bless you. Bye.